Morning Jokers and welcome to yet another beer review with me if you're the Master of Hobbits. Today, looking at another Ugly Duck beer, and this is the Ugly Duck Simcoe and Chinook IPA. I've reviewed one other Ugly Duck previously, which is their Nelson Pale Ale, which was, uh, yeah, with Jakob, which is pretty good. Now, I've had a couple of their beers, but only on tap, and they've so far been quite nice. Their Ugly Duck is uh, the former owner of Rostel Buckhoops. And uh, this is the beer that actually won the award for best uh, beer, best Danish beer below fi uh, between 5.9 or yeah, from 5.9 percent and below in the Danish beer enthusiast competition. So that's why I kind of wanted to review it and see how good it actually is. Some of the nominees that are on there was, in my taste, not supposed to be on a list like that at all. But yeah, you know the the demographics for the Danish beer enthusiast is different from like the ultra beer nerds. Uh, I have some other beers, I have some other beers in mind, but oh well, it's all about availability and all this stuff as well, so, yeah, yeah but yeah, this should be good, because Ugly Dog does make some good beers, and actually also won the, the, the other prize, which was the best beer above 6%, uh, which I will be reviewing as well, which I think is actually really nice, but this is, uh, says here, we love hops, it's as simple as that, smooth and well-balanced IPA, typical grapefruit and pine character, on a golden colored multi backbone. And that's about it, 5.9%, so not the highest ABV for an IPA. Kind of like pale ale territory, but yeah, let's get it cracked open. Uh, I can kind of smell it already, and am I picking up a slight amount of skunk? I don't hope so. Uh, but yeah, Ugly Dog is brewed at Instaboigli, which is known for making wheat beers, mostly and only, I think. Uh, one of the beers was nominated as well. Uh, but didn't win. It was Ugly Duck, which is like a contract brewery, I guess, kind of brewed at Insto. And the Insto logo is a swan, that's why it's called Ugly Duck. So, yeah. No, <laughs> it doesn't smell like skunk, it smells like weed. <laughs> it smells like, it does smell a little bit like weed, like marijuana. Yeah. Wow, that's so funny. This is one of the beers I've had that smelled the most like marijuana. That is crazy. But yeah, sorry, I, I just had to dig in because I was like, I know that aroma. Don't worry, I don't smoke. I have friends who do, so I know that. But yeah, there it is. Orange color, little white head, hazy. Pretty sure it's chill haze. Uh, was it bottle conditioned? Yeah, kind of. I'm not sure, actually. It kind of looks like it. But yeah, All right, again, with the aroma. It does smell like weed a little bit. It has that, definitely has the dank Simcoe character. This might also be what people call cat's piss, to be honest. But definitely a lot of grapefruits and peaches. A little bit of like a, uh, like a kind of, just a generic dank aroma that you kind of get from Simcoe. Floral notes. Not really any malt to speak of. It smells pretty good. But I just can't get over that. It smells so much like weed. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, also a little bit of a piney kind of aroma as well. Sweeter citrus fruits. It smells pretty good, but man, that kind of weed like aroma really dominates. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> the weed like aroma doesn't follow through in the flavor at all. Wow, that is super refreshing and quite juicy. Once the body is medium, it's dry. It has a candied like uh, flavor. I sometimes get that in like a candied sugary flavor in some IPAs. And a touch of uh, maybe a touch just a sweeter maltiness, but flavor-wise, a lot of grapefruit and peaches. I get a lot of peach on this one. Like the peach side of Simcoe really shines through. A little bit of a floral kind of note. I think it's mostly like the juicy citrus fruits along that with the pine on the back seat and the back end, which is more like. It's kind of along the lines of some like thing. I'd say like Midwest, because it has the juiciness and all, but not as crazy bitter as the the, the West Coast IPAs. It kind of reminds me of what they're doing in the UK at the moment as well with lower ABV IPAs and pale ales with lots of juicy flavors. I definitely understand why this one, because this is actually really tasty. Then again, it's not a mind blower, but for a session beer, this is fairly cheap. In Danish kroners, this is 35 Danish kroners. That is pretty cheap for a Danish craft beer. Uh, and session wise, you could drink this all day. It reminds me of Again, as I said, what is happening in the UK, especially London at the moment, with like session beers, uh, which is really nice. Right. Rating wise, for the Simcoe and Chinook IPA by Ugly Duck. 
I'm gonna go 85. This is a great beer. Um, it doesn't go up all in the mind-blowingly great 90s territory. I would have wanted a little more hop complexity, which probably could have been done by adding more hops or uh, different types of hops. Again, Simcoe is one of my favorite hops, so that's definitely a big plus for me. Uh, Chinook, well, it's good, but not a favorite of mine. So, but yeah, nice Simcoe notes in here for sure. So, guys, this is definitely worth picking up. Um, Definitely let me know what you think of the Ugly Dog Brewing Company Simcoe Chinook IPA if you've had it. An 85 for me. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I want to say cheers. And I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.